This is your CBSLA.com News Brief. Hello and welcome to your CBSLA.com News Brief. I'm Paul Majors. A 3.2 earthquake shook Marina Del Rey Friday night. Here's how it looked on our CBS2 Seismocam. There are no reports of injuries or damage. A veteran LAPD officer was killed Friday when his police cruiser was hit by a runaway truck. 40-year-old Nicholas Lee died at the scene. His partner survived. Former NFL star Darren Sharper will remain jailed in Los Angeles. He's accused of drugging and raping two women. Sharper faces similar charges in other states. Security will be much tighter this year for Sunday's L.A. Marathon. Runners have to pick up registration packets in person, and there are limits on what they can take into the race. For the latest on these stories and your news any time of the day, stay with CBSLA.com. Now here's Jackie Johnson with a check on the weather. Jackie. Thank you very much, Paul Mijelis. <laughs> and we do have mostly clear skies out there tonight. We've got a ridge of high pressure building in, and that means warm, sunny weather for our weekend. How warm will it get? We'll take a look at this. Upper 70s at the beach is for your Saturday, 80 in the LA and OC metro areas. Mid to lower 80s if you're inland or in the valleys, and above average temperatures all the way into next week. Now here's Christine Leahy with sports. Jackie, thank you. The Lakers suffered their worst loss in franchise history last night to the Clippers, and now here comes the fallout. A report says general manager Mitch Kupchak met with coach Mike D'Antoni afterwards to discuss the state of the team. No coaching change is expected right now. Lakers also lost to Denver tonight, 134 to 126. And remember, you can always find the latest scores on CBSLA.com. Paul, back to you. Thank you, Christine, Mary, Margaret Leahy. And that's your CBSLA.com news brief. Remember, we're always on. Click Listen Live on our webpage to hear KNX News Radio and other stations live anywhere.